Here we go with our main event, Peter Matiatis Promotions, who thanks you for your great support at ringside, Hank. Resurrection comes to our main event, 12 rounds of boxing for the OPBF Federation Cruiserweight Championship. Introducing first on my right, occupying the blue corner with Pat the Phantom Christoffi, joining Terry Foxy Fox from Foxy's Jim Paraka, Adelaide, South Australia. Ranked number five super cruiserweight in welder boxing in Australia. He established a brilliant reputation as an amateur boxer in Europe. 362 fights, 317 wins, four times Yugoslavian, nine times Bosnian amateur champion, Los Angeles and Barcelona Olympian. He beat Sven Otke in Italy in 1990 in amateur boxing, tipping the scales at 84.70 kilograms. Seven professional fights, four wins, two draws, two losses, wearing a blue, royal blue and gold. Ladies and gentlemen, Dobroveča, the Bosnian dragon, the Banluka dragon, Sturman Nerman Sobanovic. Sobanovic. And across the ring in the red corner with Tom Goose as joining manager Peter Maniatis. He's 18 fights, 12 wins, one draw, five losses. 10 big wins coming by way of knockout. He's fought Bob Merovic three times, Kali Meehan twice, Dan Roussel, Vince Servi, Tosca Pedridis. 84.50 kilograms is his weight. Rank number two, cruiserweight in Australia. Wearing trunks of red, white and blue. Fondly known as the Brody Bomber. Gentlemen, James Grimmer. Your timekeeper, Damien Memory. Ringside physician, Dr. Peter Lewis. Referee, Ignatius Miscellanus. Okay, guys, obey my commands at all times. Protect yourselves at all times. Shake hands now, and good luck. Ladies and gentlemen, here we are here tonight at uh, the Festival Hall, the House of Scouts, the original home of boxing in Victoria for this OPB Cruiserweight title fight. James Grimmer, the Brody Bomber, up against the Newman Sabinovic there, uh, coming out of the blue corner. Sabinovic in the purple trunks with the red waistband and the uh, yellow gold pipings and, uh, and advertising in boss trunks. And James Grimmer in the white uh, elongated trunks with uh, blue waistband and red piping bouncing around beautifully. James Grimmer, uh, he is in magnificent physical condition as in this and uh, Sabinovic looks pretty good too. He's a, a cagey customer, Sabinovic. He's fought some very big customers. He's been in Olympic Games. He's been in the Commonwealth Games. I think, no, Olympic Games. Uh, Grimmer has been a stalwart of the uh, Victorian boxing for a very lengthy period of time. Has Steve. fought the best. Tosca Petridi's right up there. He had a big bout with him, Carly Mee, and he's fought the big men. Whoa, Stephen, you're doing your homework there. For God's sake, man, relax. <laughs> I don't know how to, Peter. Not when I'm this fire. Oh, no, oh, no. You're good friends of the Grimmer family, we know that. You've embraced the Grimmer family warmly. He's more than a boxer out there for tonight. He's oh, our he's, friend, isn't he? He is. He's our friend and uh, compatriot and uh, got a lot of time for James. He's a wonderful gentleman. Uh, you help him, I've You've helped him. You've promoted him. We've all helped him. Yep. And, uh, yes, that's true. Uh, he's just a gentleman all around and he's got a heart of gold. And uh, let's hope tonight that uh, he can put the big score here on Sabanovic here, uh, which is very interesting. Now Grimmer comes in underneath Sabanovic over the top. And uh, James Grimmer looking pretty fit and strong. I, I think he's uh, he's the lightest I've seen him, I reckon. Cruiserweight's definitely his weight. It's, it's certainly his weight. No doubt about that, Peter. It and really is. You can notice weight. he's got the torso around the midriff region there. With the muscularity there is uh, uh, showing, Peter. Definitely. Look, James has done the work. He's been going to Doherty's gym and at 5 in the morning and, and basically doing Rocky. St Sylvester Stallone, Rocky 1 type of training. Yeah. And he, it's really paying off. But... Look, when, when we look at these kind of guys in there, Sabanovich is probably as tough as you could possibly get. He reminds me a lot of Evander Holyfield. He's 
He's been there. He puts the pressure on. He can take a punch. And, um, you know, he's really going to test James tonight. Oh, he certainly will, Sir Bonavic. He's been around, as we know. He's uh, fought in the Olympic Games. He beat Sven Otke back uh, 15, 16, 15 years ago, which is a great effort. So. No, no mean feat. No, no. I, I actually had an offer today from Steve Della. He um, offered me a, a large amount of money for James to fight Lawrence Tuar, so if you can get by tonight. Yep. Um, James is in big trouble now. Sabanovic has turned James around on the ropes here and throwing some big bombs on James River in the corner. James has got to get out of there. He's got to cover up and get away from Sabanovic. He's in trouble, River. He's in a lot of trouble, Sabanovic. All over River with some big shots here. This has been a big surprise here, but by golly, Sabanovic, he reckons he's all the big man here and he could well be. I don't think River's going to get up. River's in trouble. River's gone. It's all, it's all over for James. Would be enormously proud of their man. James was in trouble. He caught uh, uh, James Sabanovic uh, with a, uh, a punch, a reasonably strong punch in the middle of the round, and then and went on with the business. He got him onto the uh, into the neutral corner or close to it, and threw some very heavy leather, and then caught James on a couple of occasions with some real heavy shots. Dr. Peter Lewis is in the ring. Peter Benianis is overlooking the scene. He wouldn't be happy. We know James well. We hope he's all right there. He's getting up now. Yeah, he looks to be a little dazed, but I think. I think his father's getting into the ring there. Yeah. And uh, James, his dad's a bit worried, but he'll be all right. The your doctor is still there, uh, providing attendance, assistance, medical attention. And uh, he's wobbly walking to his ring. He's got a, really got him and this fellow. Uh, uh, Nervin, 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 Salmon, Ovik, what an effort at 41 years, and it just goes to show age will not stop you from being a champion if you have the fitness, the heart and the skill, Robert, and that's what oh, we saw here tonight. Stephen, yeah, yeah. A phenomenal performance by Nervin, Nervin, Salmon, Ovik, he fought, he proved everything by the kitchen sink of James Grimmer, and he has had superb success, he's a product of Foxy's gym now, they're all happy. Patrick Stoffy, former kickboxing champion, is there, looking very happy with his protege. Patrick Stoffy would be absolutely, you know, he's not surprised, obviously, but very happy for... And here comes James Grimmer on his feet over to congratulate Sabanovic, the winner, in true uh, boxing tradition. And uh, Howard Lee is going to try and carry out some interviews here amongst the mayhem in ring at the, the, ring at the moment. Mayhem it is, Stephen, yes. Sturman Nerman, he's uh, looked through his record. Trained by Tom Gooses, Foxy's Gymnasium. He had Bob Gassio, he beat on a KO in his last bout in July. Uh, he beat to uh, Tia Ricky, Terry to Teru, the Bolton Town Hall in June of this year, where we uh, saw him fight. Uh, sorry, James uh, and Grimmer, I'm looking at the wrong card here. Referee Ignatius uh, Missilatus. Reached the count of 10 after two minutes, 50 seconds fight. of round one. Would you congratulate the new OPBF Cruiserweight Champion from Adelaide, South Australia, Sturman Nerman Sobanovic. The boss here will talk to you, Nerman.